I've got a new toy today. If you've watched my other videos, you've seen this and this before, and you'll know that these are multi-testers. They will test transistors, resistors, inductors, capacitors, and so on. But if you've seen those videos, you also know that both of these are rather weak at testing uh, big capacitors, but especially inductors. Uh, both of these have very limited range of inductors. So I saw this thing online for seven or eight bucks, and uh, it's supposed to do big inductors and big capacitors. Now the big capacitors aren't so interesting because these will do that, but it will do big inductors or so it says. So let's give it a test and see if uh, it works any better than these two. When it comes to inductance, this meter and this meter have about the same uh, abilities. So we'll just go with this one to save time and we'll test this meter against this meter. Okay, let's get started. A couple small differences. This one runs off of USB. It has a 5 volt plug back here. This one runs off of a 9 volt battery. Uh, this one has an on off switch. And this one, you press it and it comes on for a given period of time, does the test and then turns itself back off. I've had no trouble testing capacitors, big or small, with this one. Um, this one will test everything I've got, uh, so will this one. So perhaps when they say this tests really large capacitors, it's, it means things that are well beyond what I've got. And I've got a 10,000 microfarad. Let's, uh, let's have this one test it and see how it goes. Well, it tested it faster than I could get the camera started. So um, it does a pretty good job of it. So this is 10,000 microfarads, and that's the reading I get on most of my instruments for it. Taking a little longer than usual. And, yeah, you know, roughly the same, same uh, reading. So I've got our first inductor in here, and we'll run it out. It says 0 0.8 millihenries, 4.3 ohms. Now let's, uh, this system over here uses alligator clips. I'm supposed to push the uh, zeroing range uh, before you use it every time, but I really don't see much difference. I've tried that. Okay, let's see, uh, get this on here and it says 95.37 the indicators on here say it's 100 so this one says it's 80 and this one is saying 95 uh, obviously this one's a little more accurate okay let's uh, try some others this is an inductor i made and we can test the total inductance across here um, if i can get her in there Okay. And hit the button. And it says 0.1 ohms and 0 0.2 millihenries. Notice that's in milli, not micro like the other. Okay. Now let's test it over here. I should point out that this has, uh, this is capacitance and this is inductance. This switches between the two measurement. So this is high and low capacitance, high and low inductance. And then again, this is just switching between uh, the two different functions. Okay, this says 31.88. And uh, yeah, that's a little more accurate than than this one gave us. This is a, an inductor with a core in it. And let's give it a try. And no, this, uh, this device thinks it's a resistor. Doesn't recognize it as an inductor. And let's try it over here. And I should be resetting this every time, but I'm not. So, yeah, it, uh, 
it's giving us a reasonable measure for this uh, device. Okay, so uh, let's try some others. Let's try one of the biggest inductors I've got. And see what it has to say. Um, 2 ohms, 0.87 millihenries. Okay. Uh, note over here that one advantage this thing has is it does tell you the resistance of the, of the uh, inductor. So let's try it over here. And Let's try the low setting, get a little more accuracy. Uh, 0.942, yeah, so 0.942. So what I'm seeing is that this gives me greater accuracy. I don't get the ohms, but I do get greater accuracy on this one. Okay, let's try some more, see uh, some different ones and how it reacts. So this is another small one, small coil with a ferrite core. And... Make sure I get the right two legs in here. Let's see. And again, it thinks it's a resistor. Um, so we'll try it over here. And on the lower setting, we get 12.39 uh, microhenries, which is uh, reasonable. This is my inductor box, and I've been testing these two against a wide range of inductors. And so far, what I've found is that this one will test anything I throw at it. So far, I haven't found anything it will not test. Uh, it does not give me the ohms reading, but the accuracy seems to be very good. This one, on the other hand, will test larger inductors, but not smaller ones. And it does give me the ohms, um, but the accuracy is lower. Well, that's it for my comparison of this dedicated uh, inductance capacitance meter versus this more general multi-tester. I hope you found it useful and interesting in your home electronics projects.